Chapter five, The Kids' Treasure. Jack and Annie watched in horror. The gold greedy pirates seemed to have lost their minds. Jack nudged Annie. Together they started to back slowly away from the pirates toward the treehouse. Halt, Captain Bones shouted. He aimed his pistols at them. Not another step, lovers. Jack and Annie froze. Captain Bones grinned his black toothed grin. Tell old Bones where the rest is. Oops. He growled, or prepare to meet thy doom. What, what rest, said Annie. The rest of the treasure, roared Captain Bones. I know it's on this island, I have a map. He reached into a belt pouch and pulled out a torn piece of paper. He waved it at Jack and Annie. Is that a treasure map, asked Jack. Aye, it's the map telling about kids' treasure. What kids' treasure, not us kids, said Annie. We don't know anything about a kids' treasure. Why don't you read the map, said Jack. You read it, Captain Bone shoved the map in Jack's face. Jack stared at the strange marks on the paper. What does that mean, asked Jack. What does what mean, asked Captain Bones. Those words, Jack pointed at the words at the bottom of the map. Well, it means Captain Bones Good eye squinted at the writing. He frowned, he coughed, he rubbed his nose. Ah, leave him alone, Pinky growled at Jack. You know he can't read, said Stinky. Shut up, Captain Bones roared at his men. Jack and I can read, Annie piped up. Shh, said Jack. Captain Bones made him read, make him read the map, said Stinky. Captain Bones gave Jack and Annie a dark look. Read it, he growled. Then will you let us go, said Jack. The pirate squinted his good eye. Aye, lover, when the treasure's in me hands, I'll let you go. Okay, said Jack, I'll read it to you. He looked at the map. It says, the gold doth lie beneath the whale's eye. Huh? Cap'n Bone scowled. What's that supposed to mean, lover? Jack shrugged. Hang it! Take them back to the ship, shouted Cap'n Bones. They can rot there till they're ready to tell us how to find kids' treasure. Jack and Annie were tossed into the rowboat. Waves splashed to the sides. The sky ahead was dark with thunderclouds. A strong wind had started to blow. Row, dogs, row, said Cap'n Bones. Pinky and Stinky began rowing toward the big ship. Look, Annie said to Jack. She pointed to the shore. Polly the parrot was flying over the sand. She wants to help us, whispered Annie. Polly started to fly out over the waves, but the winds were too strong. She turned around and flew back to the island. And next, chapter six.